Okay, this is the 2022 Isuzu D-Max dual cab ute in LSU model specification, which is sits midway between the uh, LSM entry level and the top shelf X terrain model. This is actually the seventh generation of Isuzu utes and it's by far you know, the most advanced, the most sophisticated, uh, certainly the strongest and the safest that they've ever made. And um, it's a really good looking thing. And it's nicely specified too, when you think of uh, that middle specification, nice big 18 inch alloy wheels, uh, lots of chrome and uh, very nicely turned out interior with uh, lots of good appointments in there, good connectivity, nice mix of surfaces. Uh, very comfortable and uh, pretty well equipped. Very spacious too. It's um, got plenty of room in the back seat and uh, it's a very comfortable vehicle if you've got to carry a crew around. Now this one is um, equipped with the roller shutter type of uh, tonneau cover. It's like a like a garage door laying horizontal I guess and it works pretty well. You just push it open like that and you can get access and then there's a, a cord here to pull it back. Now this item comes standard on the uh, top shelf X terrain but you can get it as an option. It is a genuine accessory uh, from the Isuzu range. If we uh, have a look at the capacities it, uh, it's got a really good payload capacity 995 kg which is close enough to a tonne for me and it's got uh, 3.5 tonne braked tow rating as well and that's interesting because if you uh with a 6000 kilogram or six ton gcm if you drop that tow rating to 2.9 ton from 3.5 that restores the full one ton of payload so you can you can tow up to 2.9 tons of trailer with a full payload that, they are really really good figures for a working ute which makes it acceptable for a lot of different applications and uh, you know I've mentioned before the styling of it is really good and notice the uh, the twin horizontal lines here that re on the grill that really pays homage to Isuzu's proud truck building heritage um, which goes back you know, more than a hundred years so there's uh, a lot of experience behind the design and development of this vehicle okay well it certainly looks good let's go and see how how it drives Okay, so we've got a bit of a rain here as we head off on our review of the Isuzu D-Max 4x4 dual cab ute, LSU. And uh, like all the dual cab utes in the Isuzu D-Max range, there's only one engine available. That's the latest and very heavily re-engineered version of the 3 litre 4 cylinder turbo diesel. And it comes with a choice of either 6 speed manual or six-speed auto like like this one and this engine is uh, it's a ripper engine it's one of the best in this segment actually it's got uh, 140 kilowatts and it's got 450 newton meters of torque and the beauty of it is is the way that torque is spread across the rev range it's really good like for example you got uh, 300 newton meters of that 450 is available from as low as 1000 rpm i mean that's just you know above idle so that's fantastic uh, if you're driving uh, in off-road conditions and then you know when you're towing and a lot of people who own d maxes do like to tow it's got 400 newton meters of that 450 available from as low as 1400 rpm right up to about 3200 so almost 2000 rpm you've got access to 400 newton meters of torque which peaks at about 1600 to 2600 so if you're towing a caravan that level of flexibility is fantastic so 
it's a really really good workhorse motor and uh, the six-speed automatic transmission is uh, is equally impressive it's very refined it shifts really smoothly very sweetly and the beauty of it is it's intuitive so you know if you're coming to the top of a hill say and you start going over the top of the hill if you back off or you start to break it it automatically starts shifting down all the time it's very tuned into the incline of the vehicle and what you're doing at any time and the, the automatic assists you uh, in uh, slowing the vehicle which is really handy particularly when you've got a, a big load on board and it's also got uh, the uh, choice of sequential shifting so you can just work your way up and down through the gears with the with the shifter do it manually and that's really really handy sometimes when you're towing a heavy load particularly when you're in hilly country so you can really hang on to the gears that you want without the the transmission having to hunt back and forth for you although this ASIN transmission you know is very much uh, disciplined in the, in the way it hangs on to gears anyway so there's not a lot of hunting even when you leave it in in full auto mode and of course it's got the uh, dual range part-time four-wheel drive system and for the first time in a D-Max there's a uh, remote uh, rear differential lock so you can lock that in when you're in really difficult terrain to get yourselves out of trouble and yeah beyond all that you know it's just so much that's new about this vehicle new body new chassis new drivetrain new suspension new brakes new electrically assisted power steering rather than the old hydraulic system which feels great in your hands it's very nicely weighted good communication and the variable ratio means that you know it's very very light at parking speeds but it becomes increasingly firm and responsive as your speeds increase so you know overall as a package it's it's just a very very good thing and i guess you know in terms of my verdict about this vehicle if you take into account uh, you know there's a hundred years of manufacturing expertise behind this vehicle isuzu is the largest manufacturer of trucks and diesel engines in the world and when you look at that level of experience that goes into the design and development of vehicles like this it really gives the buyer a lot of confidence that these these people know what they're doing and the bottom line is you know there's very little to fault about this vehicle but there's heaps you can praise about it and that's an enviable position to be in for Isuzu they haven't become so successful in Australia by mistake they do it because they sell really really good utes at competitive prices and they back it with good dealer and customer service so seems to be a win-win all around so really if you're in the market for a high quality dual cab ute i tell you what the latest d-max should be somewhere near the top of your shopping list 